bin Funky Monkey. Willkommen zu meinem Liebchenhaus. Now, despite the German intro, today's subject is actually by a Finnish director. Yes, the House of Love is returning to the Iron Sky universe for its sequel, The Coming Grace. Released in 2019, Iron Sky The Coming Race picks up after the apocalyptic ending of the previous movie. The remnants of humanity are living in the ruins of the secret formerly Nazi base on the dark side of the moon, and things are looking grim, until a chance encounter with the former Commandant. Sadly, this one was also very poorly received, and made next to nothing at the box office. But can it really be that bad? Well, let's find out! as we look to the Iron Sky to discover... The Coming Race. It's 2047, and the last refuge of humanity is Neomenia, the partially cannibalised and partially ruined former Nazi moon base, that thankfully no longer looks like a swastika. This was where Obi Washington, daughter of Renata and James, was raised. After nuclear war broke out on Earth, Everyone that was left from the Gotadamarung, and everyone that fled the ruined Earth, came here. Or perhaps not, as a ship from Earth is saved from crashing. But there's barely enough resources for the existing survivors. And Commander Richter isn't doing so well either. Well, you know, it is 2047, nearly 30 years since the events of the last movie, and I don't even want to think about how many times that air has been recycled in the past century or so since the Nazis first built their moon base on the dark side of the moon. I'm actually surprised that anyone can still breathe up there. But hey. But there was a stowaway on board the Earth ship. Wolfgang Kortzfleisch, the former moon Führer, last seen nursing a gunshot wound somewhere in New York. And strangely, none the worse for wear because of it. Or more interestingly, the intervening 29 years. His secret is a gift that he gives to Obi, that she may cure her mother's terminal illness. Which in a shocking break with tradition, actually works. And so we discover the Gospel of the Vril. You see, old Wolfie's a Vril, an ancient immortal reptilian shapeshifter, just go with it, whose spaceship landed on Earth in the age of the dinosaurs. That miracle cure was their main energy source, Vrilia. And get this, he claims to have taken two primates of the time and given them a Vrilia infused apple to kickstart humanity. But the Vril retreated to an underground cave with the coming of a large meteorite and have been there ever since. And Quartzfleisch is nice enough to give Obi all the information she needs. Now Wolfie plans to resurrect his precious Gotadamarung spaceship, but he'll need a massive source of Vrilia the kind which is kept in the centre of Agartha, the Vril City. And he figures that he can bring his beloved humans along too. Stuck between the Devil and the Deep Black Void, Obi agrees to this mission. And after recruiting some extra muscle, it's off to Earth. And while the landing isn't exactly perfect, it leads directly to the centre of a hollow Earth. Obi and Sasha infiltrate the Temple of Agartha, and recover the Holy Grail. And so our intrepid heroes return to the moon victorious. But then Kortzfleisch starts throwing his weight around. Enter Hitler, riding a T-Rex. But someone has to stop him. Uh, yeah, so that just happened. Cool! But there's still the little matter of Kortzfleisch. Which is easily remedied with a quick hack. And so our movie ends with the last of humanity headed for Mars. But someone else got there first. Soviets on the Red Planet. Shame the production company got shuttered. Anyway, that was Iron Sky, The Coming Race. And I feel like I really shouldn't put this into the House of Love. 
but for so many reasons I just have to. Timo Vorensola, director of this movie, has packed an awful lot into 80 odd minutes plus credits. Hollow Earth, Vril Aliens, Reptilian Shapeshifters, a whole mess of kooky conspiracies finally brought to their natural home, the silver screen. And while the only big names here are the gloriously hammy Udo Kier in his dual role as both Hitler and Kurtzfleisch, and Tom Green, at perhaps his least Tom Green, the rest of the cast invest heavily with their performances. Ostensible lead Lara Rossi is suitably sassy, though at times her default mood seems to be wishing for respite from the idiots around her. And while I've never been one for the kind of bickering couple fall in love over shared traumatic experience storyline, it's hard to deny her chemistry with Vladimir Burlakov. And of course, there's the deadpan stylings of Kit Dale's Malcolm, and Julia Dietz, who carried the previous film so effortlessly, at least gets a proper send-off. The flow of the movie does take a little while to get going, with a fair amount to introduce, an entire concept to set up, and several elements that are referred back to in the climax. But once we're off the moon, it's a pretty decent mid-level actioner. Scene into scene, except for the dalliance in the middle where the main trio are separated. Perhaps as a satire of world leadership in general, it does kinda miss its mark. Especially as some of these supposed immortals haven't been in the news in a few decades, and some of them are long consigned to the history books. But then, I don't suppose that satire has an expiry date. Which brings us to the effects. And I can't really complain, because they do look pretty good to my eyes. Though I wouldn't say that they looked completely realistic, they do help to convey the lunatical nature of this sci-fi romp. As I've said before, I classify a bad film as one that fails on some, or all, levels. This movie's pretty much the opposite of that. It was made with love and determination, and that's why I like it. It's a bit gory, a bit sweary, and a lot on PC, but that just makes it an absolute romp. And again, Hitler riding a T-Rex! You just can't go wrong with that! And seriously, I do hope that Vorensola and his team get to make a trilogy capper one day, because I'd certainly watch it. But for now, ich war Funky Monkey und wünsche Ihnen gute Tage und großartige Unterhaltung. So lange, Leute! Hey folks, Funky again. If you like the video, you know where that button is. But why not consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell? And if you want to be extra awesome, you can check out my crowdfunding links. Funding me grants access to the VIP channel in my Discord server, but there's still plenty of fun in general. And if you're not fussed about any of it, that's okay too. So long!